Okay, let's give this little sucker a test here. This will be like a shakedown to see what my portable solar generator will do. So right now, I have a coffee pot. My TV's on the other side, so I'm drawing 76.3 watts, 78 watts. Let's see what it'll do. Let's turn that coffee maker on. Jumps up. There we go. Coffee maker's on. 900 watts. Climbing. And it's holding good. As you can see, it's percolating. Hear that sucker? So, I could take a 900 watt draw no problem. Come over here. And, uh, that one doesn't show up very well. Let's see, what are we doing here? 12.8 volts. not bad. 14 amps coming in, down at 12.7, holding. Come back over here, still running 900 and 10, 912, so over 900 watts on this thing. Coffee makers percolating, coming down. Not a problem. That's pretty damn good to run on a generator. And to sit here and look at this and say that it's it's holding steady at 12.7 is very impressive. You know, you're looking here and you're holding steady at 12.7 and I'm putting in 14.2 amps. That thing's kicking butt. So this, no problem. I'm going to take this little unit here out. And you can actually, you know, like right here, I can I can run some power on this thing versus the other way. And the other fuse, remember, I took it off and I put a 150 amp direct fuse in right there off the battery. So I got 150 amps that I can use. And as you can see, the cabling it's all welded cable. So the wires coming across like right here, you can see that's that's big heavy duty welding cable down here on my disconnect switch. So that's the trick is you gotta have good cabling and still holding at 12.7 without a problem. Still putting 14.1 amps in. I have 300 watts of solar on it right now. That's, that's doing really, really good. Very happy with the performance of this. And like I said, you know, you look at some of those other little units they have out there, and give this a try, some of those units. 900 watts, 915, not a problem. This, this will run, it's a 1500 watt inverter to have in here. 1500 watt. Let's see. What am I putting in here on the Hertz? So I'm at 59.9 Hertz out of a 60. It's a modified sine wave, but that's not bad at all. I'm taking 8 amps at 120 volts. The voltage is 118 point nine. So you figure 120, so 118 is doing good. Hertz is good. Watts, 920 watts. Not a problem. Going right 
right through there so you can actually make a pot of coffee watch TV at the same time got a fish tank TVs on making a pot of coffee and now it finished off a little pot right there so now I'm back at 13.6 look how fast that thing recovered putting in 13.5 amps That thing just bounced right back. Now it's coming back down. So I'm at 80, 80 watts. So I'm still running the TV over there, still keeping the coffee pot warm. I'm at 83 watts. And if you look back over here, the recovery came back, back up to 13.6. Try that with one of those little store bought systems. And that's not going to happen. You're not going to come back up that fast. This one here just recovered a 900 watt load. Turns around, comes right back up. Look at that, 13.6 amps coming in. There you go. Proof's in the pudding. This little bad bear just works. Alright, quick little uh, test to see what we do and it passed the test.